So great. Now, since, since they're starting following you with all the, you know, the books, uh, especially Cardone University, when I started my business myself personally in five years, I, I realized it to, to, it, I, what it actually takes to live a fulfilled life and realize that everything is possible if it, it's up to me, you know, it's up to us to make it happen. It's not through yeah. any ma magic formula or anything. So I consequently shared this awesome energy and, you know, technical advice that you've been giving me for many years through your Cardone University in material. And I, show, I shared it with the franchisee and they feel the same ecstasy towards success. So, yeah, first of all, I want to say thank you for doing this podcast and thank you for having me on it. Welcome to the Wings Mobile Detailing Business and Automotive Podcast, the only podcast that will guide you on how to start and grow six-figure companies. As our team expands from one business location to worldwide domination, you will get step-by-step -step insights from a millennial franchiser and franchise owner with your host, Andre Mezzalera. I, I, do, I did have a question for you. How do you make the average people who's out there, you know, see the greatness or their own potential inside of them when they think of success as something, you know, when they see success yeah. as something so far and unattainable. Um, the way, the way to, to, to get people to hear this message is the same way you got this interview. Just you have to persist. And the persist can't just be push and shove. It has to be, because a lot of people mistake, oh, I'm just going to keep following up. I may keep doing the same thing over and over and over again until the other party submits. But you have to you have to use a lot of different strategies. You have to be professional. You have to have good manners while you're doing it. You have to be uh, you have to have a good sense of humor when people aren't calling you back and when people aren't responding and when people aren't interested. Uh, when they get slight interest, uh, and even when they say yes, I'll do it, and then maybe they they can't show up for whatever reason. The individual that's trying to make something happen, whether it's an entrepreneurship or be promoted within a business or make a marriage work or pursuing another person trying to get into a relationship or a customer, you have to be professionally persistent. And that takes strategy, skills, and a good attitude. Okay, awesome. And, and, and that training as well, right? And that, that's what I also learned from Cardone University, all the training that you put us do not just the practical and I, I see that on millennials as well people asking also Grant uh, you know a, a personal when when training guys when training people to go after I run an auto detailing business and it's a franchise in the state of Virginia and for my franchisees I train them to say no uh, to hear no I train them to be used to hearing no's you know a, a bunch of no's and they get excitement out of that is that something feasible is that something people should expect for to later get their excitement of you know running a business people need to be they need to have the right assessment of the situation so you know people you fail only because you underestimate the effort necessary and that's the only reason anybody fails at anything the the idea that the idea that uh, failing is a good thing uh, while it might leave some lessons and a person hopefully uh, learns something from their failures you, you don't want to consistently fail in order to learn and mm -hmm. the reality is the only way a person could fail really and truly is if they quit which means I underestimated the effort to get whatever I wanted and then I'm like okay I'm not gonna pursue this anymore it's not worth it because it's too hard right so so people should be people should be educated. Hey, look, it's going to take 12 phone calls. If somebody hits my landing page and says, I'm interested in investing at Cardone Capital, um, or we, we know that it's going to take probably eight to 12 phone calls just to get them back on the phone again. Right. Even though they said they were interested. Yeah. And I, and I see a lot of people also, uh, people my age, especially, uh, I, I don't want to compare millionaires and whatnot because I know it's completely up to them. But they try to justify why don't you know why they don't need success just so they can you know just justify their lack of action that they're not taking, and they fall into that average trap lifestyle, and then all their happiness is vanished because they're just used to yeah. you know. How yeah, do you show I, people I, that you it, know? Grant? Yeah, it, it has it has nothing to do with an age group though. This has nothing to do with millennials. I, I can show you I can show you eighty year olds that have quit. 
and, and, and traded in their dreams for an average life. I can show you 60 year olds that have traded in their potential for an average life. I can show you 40 year olds, baby boomers, Gen Y, Gen X, millennials, uh, you know, the generation parents, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, grandparents, uh, Japanese people, American, Hawaiians, uh, Koreans. It, it has nothing to do with age, gender, race or religion you know people yeah. don't understand how great the great life is and they trade it in for an average life and make sense of an average life and all the problems that come with it and then justify why so you know the the people that you're looking for in your business are the, one you're going to have to have a lot of franchisees to, to be super successful if you if you follow the franchisees model you know uh you know mcdonald's uh, you know, that's a great franchisee model, but, but they, they insist on, uh, that McDonald's being run a certain way. Number one, number two, it's up to the manager, the store manager or the owner, how many stores he'll have. Will he have one, 10, a hundred or 200? Right. And, and, and the scale, you see, see, this is what the young entrepreneur is not thinking about. Hey man, if I scale, I could do anything I want. Instead, what they're doing is they're like, I don't, I don't want a job. I don't want to work 40 hours a week. I'm going to trade baseball cards or sneakers and make 30 or $40,000 a year from home. But that's a dead end deal. You know, I mean, yeah. I guess that's good for somebody that wants to trade baseball cards and make a, a thousand dollars extra a year. But, you know, people should be pushing for financial freedom and, yeah. An unbelievable life, like an unbelievable, getting an unbelievable life it is no harder than, than, than getting, you know, having just a, a, a just a, an existence, but the payoff's way different. Yeah. Uh, the process of acquiring the life would be kind of the same process of acquiring an average life later on, getting the same results. It, it, it's totally the same, the same, mm -hmm. you know, you just gotta be, you gotta be like, like, where do you live? I'm in Virginia, Richmond, Virginia. Yeah, so if you want to go to Vegas, I mean, uh, that's one trip. If you want to go to Sydney, Australia, that's another trip. Mm -hmm. And and if you want to go to the grocery store down the street, and pick up a six pack of beer, that's a different trip. Right. Most people are just most people are just settling for the local the local. I just want to go out this weekend and and get home. And and I you know. It's the same planning, same strategy, just different resources. And so the person listening to this right now says, well, man, I, man, I'd love to go. I'd love to go to Sydney. You know, I'd love to leave Virginia and fly to Sydney. Okay, well, good. Now, what are the resources required and how do you want to go? You want to go first class? You want to sit in the back of the plane? Um, you know, where do you yeah. want to stay when you get there? How long do you want to stay? Oh, who do you want to bring with you? You want to go by yourself? Why and why would you want to go by yourself? Because you don't have any cool friends. Yeah, and to, you know, or or yeah. or your friends can't go because they they don't have the time or the money. So you see, people just need to start deciding. Everybody's figured out how to go to the local store and pick up a six pack of beer. Yeah. If you can figure that out, you can figure out how to go to Sydney, even on your own plane, and bring people with you and stay as long as you want. It's the same trip. It just requires a different mindset, a different strategy, and more resources. And how, how would you convert, Grant, those same people who, uh, you know, you, you talked about go, about people, what do they want, what type of success, success they want. And to these same people who doesn't know what it's like, doesn't know the feeling, and they normally want to set for an average, you know, let me get out in the weekend and not... Uh, you know, I've been calling a workaholic too, way too many times, and I got excited over that because I learned from you that that's what you're, you you want to hear when you're kind of you know going in the right path. But you know, they don't want to go through those uh, to work I instead of then going. They, they prefer to go to the to the bar on the weekends and things like that. And how do I show them that excitement, that excited life? You know, the process to them. Hey, if you get to this, if you if you study on Cardone University, for example, that's how I started to like, man, I love to sell. I love to go out and, and hear no's when I sell services at a dealership or wherever I am. 
Yeah. So look, the way the way to quality is through quantity. Okay. You're you you're not you're not you're not you're looking for, you know, you're gonna have to go, you're gonna have to get in front of a lot of people to find what you're looking for. Mm-hmm. So it's it's it, it is purely a numbers game. So. You know, there's 330 million people live in America. Most of them are just barely getting by. Right. So if you think all of a sudden you're going to find the needle in the haystack, that 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 perfect person, you got to go through a lot of people. The 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 the, the statistics are most people don't want much, don't do much, and don't get much. Right. And in, in a country where there is abundance everywhere yeah it, it becomes even harder it becomes even harder to uh because it, it's even in a country where there's abundance like uh the u.s it's even easier actually to accommodate with the comfort and i'm from brazil yeah, exactly. by the time because moved, com yeah. com comfort's abundant here you know comfort's abundant in america now you go to a third world country you know you go down to Venezuela right now they're, they're you know people are like they're under a threat all the time go to Africa threats Nigeria threats right so we take a lot of stuff for granted here but all that can be taken away too you got to keep showing people what's possible right like I'm an agitator I agitate people and and I keep showing people I'm not really trying to inspire people I do try to inspire some people by the way I live my life And, you know, people see me traveling around the world and the jet and the family and everything. It agitates people. It's an agitation. Not, not, I'm not attempting to agitate on purpose. I, my goal is to inspire, but it agitates them because they know, hey, man, why am I not doing that? Mm -hmm. You know, why am I not traveling with my family around the world? Why am I not acquiring real estate, Yeah, you know? Why am I not writing books? Why am I not speaking to audiences? I got all the gifts, grants, God. I, I, you know, I deserve. So it agitates people a bit. That's good, by the way. That's better. Some people are inspired. Some people are agitated. And some people just like, nah, that's not for me. They just quit mm -hmm. on the idea. Right. So, so I need, you know, you just need, you need the right people to see your message. And they, they need to, they need to see your success. Even when they're saying no, because later they could change their mind and say, oh, I want that now. I see how well Andre's doing. Oh, my God, he's doing better. Oh, now he's got this many. Oh, my God, I've been watching him now. People have been watching me for 25 years, man. Uh-huh, yeah. So I got, I got people that haven't done, didn't do business with me for the first 20 years that are now doing business with me because what they've seen me do. You know, the proof is in the pudding. So you got to keep the lights on. And you got to keep shining bright. And when you do that, people are gonna they're gonna label you. They're gonna they're gonna judge you, <laughs> they're gonna criticize yeah. you. You know, they're they're gonna do everything they can to stop it. No, no, no. They're gonna do everything they can to make sense of their own condition. Mm -hmm. They're not trying to stop. And the only reason they're trying to stop you is because they're trying to make sense of where they are. And, and, and if you fail, then they'll be like, you see, I knew, I knew, I knew it wasn't worth it. If you succeed, they're like, shit. Yeah. You know, you know, oh, he got lucky. They'll go through the whole, they'll go through the justification. He got lucky or he got a break or he got this or he got that or it won't last. But if you can last and keep lasting and keep expanding, then they're going to be like, damn, dude, why am I not doing this? Yeah, And then who knows, maybe they missed the whole party. The people that, you, you know, sometimes the people you want to help the most are never going to take your help. Mm -hmm. Is there, is there a, uh, a problem with showing? Definitely, I'm not the type of guy to spend what I don't have, you know, show early success because I, I'm more towards the grind at first. You know, I understand things that I have to set aside. Uh, but yes, it, it does pay. It's in the short term. I'm in a business for six years, Grin. And in the short term, it, it paid off uh, compared to the average people, you know, a, a lot more. You know, it, it's feasible. The success, people can see it. 
but is there a problem when showing that you know even if it's early because I'm trying to acquire if people to get in the business I want them to understand that they are not supposed to live they're not supposed to have all the nice fancy cars and fancy you know things that it takes time and showing that wouldn't make them in the process wanted to give up because it's taking too long for them to acquire that again well again you you, you need to you know you need you need to be the example right like no nobody saw me nobody saw any of the fruits of my labor for years i didn't have the fancy cars i wasn't flying in a private jet uh, I didn't have, you know, w nice watches. I didn't have any of that stuff. I, I wasn't showing off. You know, you could right. say what I do today is showing off. I mean, I, I would even say there's a, a bit of a show off going on here, you know? Right. Because, because I got stuff to show off. Yeah. But, but all that stuff is bought with passive income. Now, if you're having to, if somebody's having to go out right now and buy fancy stuff, to show their success and you're doing that out of earned income, it's just a mistake. Right. You, you should never do dumb stuff with money that took hard work. You should only do dumb stuff with money that you earned from doing nothing. Understood. It comes so from investments like the, the, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Not, not from work. Okay. The franchise requires work, right? Yes. So, yeah, you know, once I get surplus money, and I'm now now you know I didn't I didn't start doing any of this till I was like 45 years old. I've been working for 20 years. When I started earning money for my real estate, because of my investments in real estate from that that I bought from my my earned income, um, you know then then I'm like okay I can buy this because I'm buying it out of earned income uh, uh un unearned income. And you you, ne you never want to trade. You never want to trade money money that was earned from time. If I had to trade time for money, I don't want to trade that for a pro uh, for for a uh, yeah for okay. bullshit purchases like cars and all those things. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Now 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 let's say let's say I'm in a car dealership. I work in a car dealership. Then I'm going to go buy as many cars as I want because I plan on selling those cars. <laughs> right. You know, I saw somebody says, oh, man, God, I'm, he's, he's showing a picture of a, a Porsche. That he, oh, this Porsche. I said, dude, if, you're the, if you love Porsche that much, why don't you go buy a Porsche dealership? See, see, why don't you think different? Yeah. Why don't you be paid to drive the car you love? Or, or you, you know, become, become that soccer player that's earning $50 million a year. And he's like, shit, I can buy a car every month if I want to. Or, or better yet, Porsche is going to give me a car to drive because I'm such a freaking commodity. Uh, Porsche wants to see me in this car because I'm an endorsement. People just need to think different, dude. They need to think big. And mm -hmm. what does that mean? That means they need to get rid of most of their little friend thinkers. Yeah, and wherever wherever we go, that's a lot what I learned from you myself, uh, Grant, is I, I got so into the business that... <laughs> I see how you sh how you show people, you know, how things are when you go everywhere, you don't you don't separate things, family and you don't separate, you know, the spiritual life, the business life. For you it's all together. Every, where wherever you go, it's all you're all seeing opportunities to wherever you are. And that's a lot what I learned from you because I get excited out of that style of life, always looking for the future, for the growth, you know, for what I can create later on. Yeah. So, you know, what I did, I started studying guys that were living, I'm like, wow, they, wherever they go, they are involved in opportunities. They weren't going to a place every day. And now in the beginning, I had to go to a place every day to, to, to make money. I mean, there's just no way around it. You got to go take care of your business. But mm -hmm. the goal was always, hey, I want to get myself in a position where one day, uh, these, 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 you know, Bill Gates and Warren Buffett, they travel all over the world, man. Yeah. Everywhere they go, they do deals. What are they doing when they go places? They're meeting people. They're meeting qualified people, able people. You know, they're improving their condition in life through people. 
the, the problem with most people in America is they don't ever leave home. And when they do, they, 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 they when they do, they do it only to go to go lay at a beach somewhere. <laughs> so I, I gave I gave all, all me and my wife we, we we traded all the luxuries early, so that one day maybe we could have luxuries. And it, and it worked for us, you know. We we figured out. I mean, we're going. We've been going forty five days right now, traveling around the world. But between the age of twenty five and forty five. I didn't travel anywhere, dude. I went to work every day, put my head down. Mm-hmm. Paid, I paid the price. I put my money away. I invested my money. I didn't lose money. I never lost money on investments. And and I was extremely disciplined along the way uh, so that one day I could make good investments that would take care, you know, that would allow me the lifestyle I want. Yeah. And I so. See- when you were uh, when you made your first million dollar of, of years ago, uh, what what are you worth now, Grant? If you don't mind, man. Oh, I don't know, man. I have no idea. <laughs> and so uh, I I saw one one. one it's, really, it's really you know what what I'm worth, dude. Is is how many people can I inspire today? You know how many people gotcha. can I help? The real value today is, you know, like at some point you got you got enough money, right? And and and. It's 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 a funny thing because once you have enough money, then more money comes. Mm-hmm. If you're doing the right things, if you continue to do the right things, some people don't do the right things. You know, like we all know the athletes that make a bunch of money and then blow it all because they didn't do the right things with the money. The talent talent is only one portion of this. Uh, um, you got to have the right vehicle and you got to have the right mindset. You got to be around the right people. You got to make the right investments. Uh, but mostly, you got to be committed to something bigger than just yourself and your stuff. Thinking of other people always help. You, you do better, right? When you're thinking of somebody else to do it for somebody else and to do it for yourself. Thinking the selfish. Yeah, well, the more the more people that benefit, the more the 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 more you know. It just makes the whole process easy. Yeah. Uh, you know. You, you know. Like. Like. You know, the Budweiser franchise, man, Budweiser, they made so many rich people. Uh, Budweiser got rich, but the truth is that all the franchises, people that did Budweiser back in the 60s, if you had a Budweiser franchise and you were focused, you made a lot of money. Same thing with the McDonald's Mm -hmm. franchise. I mean, franchises are a great way to get rich. Because that was the right vehicle. And if they have the same... You know, you also have to trust the company. What what type of uh, pattern you're following to, correct? Uh, because for me personally, I'm always following your material. You know, it's proving that your material, sales material, it's 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 top. It's completely different from what is out there from other quote unquote gurus, where they use manipulative ways to teach. You know, use you know the way they look, the way they sit. It's completely different. So yours is more modern. It's more modern. And so I guess the franchisees, people who are looking to invest in a business, they have to follow that, right? People who has proven results and yes. genuine for the long term. Yes, yes. And, and maybe maybe this is a good place to end, uh, in, you know, to, to, to start winding up. You've got to have the right vehicle. And once you have the right vehicle, you need to commit to that vehicle. You can't look for another one. Mm-hmm. You can keep your eyes open for other opportunities, but you've got to get the first one or, or you've got to get the one that you're in. You know, you, when you make that trip to Sydney, you don't want to keep changing planes. Right. You, you know, my friend Steve Harvey talks about jumping off the mountain without a parachute. I'm like, <laughs> well, I hope that works. I hope that works. Mm-hmm. Crossing but, your fingers. <laughs> yeah, but dude, if it don't work, I mean, uh, we got an issue. Yeah. So you, you don't want to, you want to get on the right equipment. You know, when we fly home, I'm going to fly to LA uh, and then to Miami. When, when you fly home, like, you want to be sure the equipment can get you there. Mm-hmm. So the idea that you're just going to keep changing vehicles midstream, most people that means you got to land the plane, you got to refuel, you got to stop landing and landing and takeoffs are the most dangerous times of, of, for that aircraft to, to, to launch. So you're better off being in the air and staying in that one piece of equipment. No, I, I... commit to, commit to a great vehicle. Commit to being around great people. 
keep making yourself better and you're going to be successful as long as you don't quit. And as far as for people who are starting off, for example, Brent, uh, are you more in favor of towards putting that egg in, in one basket and going focusing full on on that particular uh, for sure. business, for example? For sure. Mm -hmm. It's proven. The wealthy people do not diversify early on. They do that once they're wealthy. They don't do that in the beginning. They go all in on one thing. I can just go a list of people. Steve Jobs, one thing. Bill Gates, one thing. Warren Buffett, one big investment in the beginning. It changed his life. And then he does uh, the voice. Mark Zuckerberg, one thing. Martha Stewart, one thing. Oprah, one thing. She didn't do 17 things. You know, so mm -hmm. so pe people are trying three and four and five things. And they, I'm like, you don't even have the first thing right. <laughs> Get great at one thing. Not digging a lot of holes and trying to perfect all of them at once, right? That's right. Okay. All right, Grant. No, thank you so much for your time. I'll be publishing this on uh, Wednesday, but I can I'll send it over to you. You know, before then. You're the man, dude. You're the man. Right. 10x everything. Thank you. Thank you for your time, Grant. I appreciate it. All right, Andre. Hey, let me know when you go when you go public with this. I'll help you push it around, buddy. I really, really appreciate you. Appreciate your listeners, dude. You're awesome. I appreciate the success that you're having, and I look forward to seeing you have even more success. Grant, it was a pleasure speaking to you, man. Thank you so much for this opportunity and sharing all your knowledge and success with all of us you know teaching us to get to the right vehicle and to the right place so for all of you listeners as well just like Grant and i were talking about wings mobile detailing is also offering a franchise opportunity for anyone of you guys who is hungry to succeed and find a company find the right vehicle to get in just dm us and you'll be part of an awesome team uh you run your own business successful business with Grant Cardone's sales university so the Cardone University comes with this opportunity uh, but it's for limited people so you can DM us at wings mobile detailing we're everywhere on Google and thank you so much Grant Grant Cardone I'm humbled to have you on the show and sharing all of your advice towards franchising getting the right vehicle with everyone of our listeners thank you